I'm a teenage roller coaster enthusiast that has spent countless hours researching and riding roller coasters, but I've never really tried to find out how they're made. Therefore, I looked at every square inch of the internet to find out how roller coasters are built. The process all starts with an idea. A theme park either reaches out to a roller coaster manufacturer and asks them to build a ride, or a manufacturer reaches out to a theme park and asks if they can build a ride at their park. Manufacturers have a wide variety of coasters they can build, and the parks choose what type of coaster they would like. Coasters usually cost 15 to 20 million dollars, unless you're Disney and Universal when you were spending a fortune on theming, the people who design the coaster have to figure out who their target demographic is. Meaning if the park wants a kiddie ride, they design a kiddie ride. The manufacturers call up their best engineers to find out how the blueprinted roller coaster will work with gravity. Actually, let's talk about how gravity works with roller coasters real quick. As you climb up a lift hill, you are gaining potential energy. Once you get to the top of the lift hill, all of that potential energy turns into kinetic energy, causing you to plummet down the massive hill. Throughout the ride, your kinetic energy dies out until you hit the brakes at the end, concluding your ride with science. Now that the coaster is designed and engineers have calculated if the coaster is safe or not, it is then time for the manufacturer to build the materials. Now that all of the pieces are made, they are ready to be shipped. Oftentimes, manufacturers are based in faraway countries, which means shipping processes take a long time. A few weeks have gone by and the parts finally arrive at the theme park. The parts are either shipped in sections or in a bunch of different pieces. The park usually waits until winter when it isn't open to build the ride. Once all of that is built, they hook up electrical wiring and systems to operate the ride and the coaster can now be open to the public. Well, actually not quite. The coaster then undergoes substantial testing where the ride and its systems undergo every type of circumstance possible. Once the ride is finally done with testing, it is actually ready to open to the public. I post a lot of content like this, so I'd recommend subscribing. Peace.